Hello guys and welcome back to my best in beauty video for 2020. Um, 2020's been a year and a half, hasn't it? Um, it feels like it's been 120 months long instead of 12 and we're kind of all finishing it on a bit of a, a negative note so I thought why not talk about some makeup, um, light-hearted entertainment about my favourite products this year. I do these every year and it's kind of a roundup of my monthly favourites. I've got a lot of products to talk about so I'm going to start um, straight away and I'm going to start on makeup. I'm going to do makeup, skincare, hair care, body. Um, so first of all, two mascaras this year that really kind of became favourites, firm favourites, and they are Bare Minerals Length and Strength, which I've spoken about a lot, you guys might have heard me talking about this, it's essentially a serum mascara, so it's got lash growth kind of serum in it, but it also makes your lashes look amazing. A lot of these products that I've tried in the past um, either don't really do anything or they're not good mascaras, so you kind of don't like using them because they don't make your lashes look amazing whilst you're using them. This actually is a really, really good mascara and just so happens to have like lash conditioning properties. Um, it doesn't have um, super scary chemicals in it that um, some lash growth serums do have, which is why I don't use the super strong lash growth serums because um, I don't necessarily like the idea of that and in my eyes, but it like it's all natural so you don't have to worry about that essentially really really good and I definitely noticed a difference in the condition and the length of my lashes I've got quite long thick lashes anyway but I definitely noticed they were kind of like um like there were less of them falling out and they were definitely like a bit more there do you know what I mean it wasn't like crazy like oh my god my lashes are like 50 times longer and thicker but it was definitely noticeable and their condition as well the other mascara that I absolutely love and this is kind of a late contender to the game because I discovered it like probably a month ago, is the Kat Von D, Von D? Kat Von D, actually it's called Von, is it called KVD Beauty now? Because um, she's left the company, I think. Um, but it's called Go Big or Go Home Mascara. If you like big, fat lashes, loads of volume, loads of length, this is for you. The packaging is chunky, the brush is pretty chunky, um, and it's just like, bam. This is a really good, like, evening, kind of like, more dramatic, I was gonna say going out, but we're not going anywhere, are we? Um, <laughs> more kind of evening mascara. Anyway, um, what else have I got to show you? A few items from Iconic, actually. I worked with Iconic quite a lot this year, and before, trying out their products i actually thought this wouldn't be a brand that was for me their branding is quite like insta glam but actually their products are incredible and i really really love them there's three products this year um that have really kind of um become staples the first one is what i'm wearing on my lips and this is their lip oil this flavor is the peach one she's a peach but i like this for a few different reasons firstly the applicator is a roller so it gets like a really even application and it's just also really nice and satisfying to use. Um, I've already got too much of it on, I don't need any more. Um, secondly, it's super glossy, like it looks like a full-on gloss, um, but it's not sticky at all because it's an oil. It's really like smooth, it, it makes your lips feel super, super smooth and like, I don't know, it's just that real, like almost like glass. Um, but at the same time, it's not sticky at all, and it, but it still has that like covering feel. You know like an oil, a traditional oil you would think sinks into the lips, this doesn't, doesn't. This like, kind of sits on the top layer. Really moisturising, really nice, big fan of that. The other one I've spoken about this absolutely tons is the Sheer Blush. This colour is Fearless Flush, this is essentially like a, um, a liquid kind of cream blusher. But I really like this because it's multi-use and I think a lot of this year I was just throwing on, it's like focusing on my face, that's something. I was just throwing on makeup, um, you know, and you want it to be quick, you're not necessarily doing anything specific but you want to look okay. Um, and this is really nice because you can use it on your cheeks, on your lips, on your eyes and it just really kind of gives you a nice subtle makeup look but at the same time it, it's not a lot of effort. Um, I really really like this and the texture is like, it's not like a stain. A traditional stain which I don't really really like and it's also just really it just kind of yeah it's a really good texture it kind of disappears into the skin it doesn't sit on top like a cream would it kind of absorbs in but at the same time isn't that like you know with stains say if you've got a cheek stain you have to move really really quickly otherwise it will 
like leave a splodge on your cheek. Not like that, really, really nice. And then lastly from Iconic, um, I also have a discount code as well, which is not an affiliate code, this is not paid for, but because I'd worked with them loads for um, the whole of this year, I just emailed them and, and we asked for a discount code for you guys. So if you want, I think it's 15% off, I'll put it below. Um, there's a discount code for you. This is the Cushion um, Brow, what's it even called? Sculpt and Boost Eyebrow Cushion. Basically a brow cushion. I had never even heard of anyone doing a cushion product for brows before. This is incredible, it's so good. I love the colors of it. I wear medium, um, which is perfect for me. It looks dark, but I do actually have fairly dark eyebrows, especially in comparison to my hair being blonde. I actually have brown eyebrows. Um, and I do, I do tint them darker as well. Um, but I really, really love this. I actually really love the brush it comes with, which sounds crazy, because normally the brushes that come with compacts are just terrible. Um, and But this has a really, really sharp, slightly curved outwards um, brush, and it's just so good at applying those like fake brush strokes. I really love this stuff. It looks really natural, and it's really good if you want that very kind of defined individual brush stroke brow look really really nice two concealers that i've been loving this year first one is not new i think i discovered this one in 2018 and it's probably been a favorite every year since is the bare minerals bare pro i find myself going back to this because it is really i think it's the best high coverage concealer that i've used or that i have um it's really good if you've got anything that kind of like really needs concealing or whatever this does the trick so so good um and then the other one is another higher coverage concealer but it's the touche clair high cover now this is more of a um recent discovery well definitely because that one's a few years old um but it's a higher coverage version of the classic touche clair which as a lot of you guys know is kind of like a highlighter concealer hybrid it's like brightening um highlighting whereas this is more of a concealer so say if the touche clair is like 60% highlighter, 40% concealer. This is like 70% concealer, 30% highlighter. Hope that makes sense. It's really good though, and if you're looking for a little bit more coverage from um, what you would normally get with a Touche Cloud, this is really great. It still has that really kind of like brightening effect to it. And then finally, makeup wise, this palette um, from Vive, which is Jamie Genevieve's brand, I got this when it I think it was a couple of days before it launched. I've used this basically every day since I got it. You can tell because it's so dirty with my concealer covered fingerprints. Um, this is actually, when I first got this palette, I thought it was quite warm and I was like, oh, I don't know if I'll use it that much because it's like, there's a lot of like really yellow tones in there. But actually, Jamie knows what she's doing. Like seriously knows what she's doing. And all of these shades are actually really, really beautiful. When you put them on, they're kind of, the warmth kind of just works if you get what I mean. I use this colour pretty much daily, just as an all over wash on my lid, which actually looks quite dark, but it's really nice and really natural. And I've got so many questions on Instagram or on here, like, what are you wearing on your eyes when I'm wearing this? And it's basically in the last like two months, it's been this, it's so good. Um, and I've barely made a dent either because the eyeshadows are super, super highly pigmented, but actually blend really nicely at the same time. A lot of like really high pigment eyeshadows I find are hard to work with because if you're not, you know, a pro makeup artist, you put it on and then you have, like, it's hard to blend that much pigment, but these are really, really good and they just blend like butter and the glitters are really beautiful as well. On to skincare. The number one skincare discovery this year for me has probably been P50, which is not a new release. This is super old. Um, this is a liquid exfoliant. I finally caved to the hype about this. I'd heard about it loads of times. Almost bought it in Liberty a few times. Like walked up to the counter and then be like, nah, because it's it's expensive for what it is. Like in comparison to a lot of other kind of liquid um, acids, it's I think it's like seventy pounds, something like that. Um, but it's it's so brilliant, so brilliant. I've never had smoother skin, um, and it is just really really fantastic. I love that. Finally caved to buy it after hearing Caroline Hirons do an entire. IGTV live or Instagram live or whatever. Um, yeah, really, really good, love that. If you're looking for something to really kind of smooth the texture of your skin and just m make you glow, it's amazing. Um, staying, I'll stay on like the acidy kind of front. A later addition to the favorites is the new Origins Ginseng Serum. As you can tell, I haven't used that much of this. I've had this for a couple of months, but really in terms of this being, um, 
like an instant wow product. It feels incredible on the skin. It's a vitamin C serum, so it's brightening. Um, this kind of overtook my Ulla Henriksen um, Banana Bright Serum. I also love that this year, and I finished it and started using this, and I think I prefer this. It gives you that really kind of like cooling, refreshing feeling when you put it on in the morning, and then it has the vitamin C as well working on the brightness. So it like feels nice instantly, but also works longer term too. Really like that. And then the other thing that I've totally fallen in love with is the Elemis Pro Collagen Tri Acid Peel. I also got a really similar product to this from Alginist um, at exactly the same time that I got this, like the same week. And I have to say, I actually prefer the Elemis one. Initially, I thought I preferred the Alginist one. They're both very, very good. I think this is cheaper but you get less of it. So actually price per milliliter, the um, Alginus one does work out a bit cheaper. They're both quite expensive products, but oh my God, they're so good. Resurfacing mask, brilliant, love it. And again, another product that feels wonderful when you're using it, it's really cooling and kind of refreshing feeling, but also makes your skin look really incredible. Um, eye cream, there's only really been one eye cream that I've been using this year, and it's the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C Eye Cream. I find eye creams difficult to kind of judge their effectiveness i don't know it's something about them i just like i don't know they like feel hydrating but it's difficult with i don't know difficult with your eye area i am so hot in this jumper and i can't take it off because i don't have anything on underneath it so i'm that's why i'm like scratching a bit and stuff because it is so hot in this room i think mike must have cranked the heating up um so yeah it's also like six o'clock in the morning because it's the only time I could film this video in case you're wondering why it's dark outside and why the lighting is a bit funky. It's super early in the morning. Um, so yeah, Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I really, really like this. I like the texture of it. It's nice and hydrating um, and it's a vitamin C base as well. So kind of like brightening and antioxidant. SPF. One SPF that has changed the game for me this year is the SOS um, SPF 50. This stuff is such a nice texture. It's a mineral SPF, but it's not chalky. It's not heavy. It's like a balm. It literally disappears into the skin. Um, it sits really nicely under makeup. It's just an all round winner and it's 15 pounds for 50 mil. So affordable and brilliant and um, a small business as well. So that is awesome. I absolutely love it. And then another one that is SPF related is um, the Tan Lux Super Glow SPF 30. I, I feel like this product was actually probably in last year's favourites as well. Um, in the original formulation, which is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum with Tan. This is Hyaluronic Acid Serum with Tan and with SPF. It's like could you need anything else? Here you go. Here it is all packaged up for you. Amazing. So good. Um, overnight mask from Longcom. Hydrazen jelly mask. I'm not normally into overnight masks. I think they're a bit of a gimmick. They're kind of like a heavy face cream, are they not? Like you leave them on, it's essentially a face cream. But this one is really different because it is a thick jelly formula. If you have been using a lot of active ingredients in your skincare and you just want your skin to go, ah. Oh. <laughs> I found this has been really good this year. You can tell I've used it a lot because um, you don't need a huge amount of it either. It's quite thick, super hydrating, really calming, really cooling, and just a real like, like chill out moment for your skin. Another thing that is like that, but is actually a moisturizer um, rather than a, a kind of jelly overnight moisturizer is the Garnier, High Street, Garnier, um, multi restore gel cream do not let the packaging actually the packaging is eco so this is good but it doesn't look much and I generally don't like things with hemp leaves on them I'm a bit like come on it's very like the body shop circa 2001 or whatever um, but this product is brilliant super brilliant I actually did a campaign with Garnier for the oil that is part of this collection, which is also really good. And I didn't actually have to include this product, but I tried it and I was like, please can I include this product too? Because it's freaking amazing. Um, this is basically, it's a moisturizer. It's just like a, a kind of bog standard moisturizer. You get it out, it's a fairly thick consistency. It goes on and it just feels so calming and so cooling and it's really balmy. It's got a really lovely kind of relaxing scent to it. That's what I want to put it on then. And I was like, oh no, I've got makeup on. Um, it's got a really lovely scent to it. If you're just looking for something just to be really calming, really good hydrating moisturizer, this is brilliant and super affordable. Um, and what else have I got to say? Yeah, so like if you've been using lots of active skincare, retinol, lots of acids, things like that, this is a, these two 
are both really nice to use just as a they're not gonna you know add anything else to the mix they're just gonna be like really nice and hydrating um, another thing that is a recent discovery is a cleanser this is from PSA I did an IG IGTV yeah so many things on Instagram now I get confused what's what um, I did an IGTV with these guys a couple of weeks ago but I've actually been using this skincare line for ages I've had it for months and months and months and months and months um, and this is Reset, so it's acai and manuka honey cleanser. The packaging is just beautiful. Um, and it's a really gorgeous textured cleanser. It's kind of like a balm, kind of like a gel, but it's very kind of hydrating, but not stripping at the same time, but not quite as heavy as a traditional cleansing balm. Really like that. Um, okay, so for hair, I finally got converted by Garnier to do, to try, um, to do, to try a solid shampoo bar again. I used these from Lush years ago and hated them. My scalp hated them. It makes me itch just thinking about it. Um, these are so good. I've worked a lot with Garnier this year and it's actually really genuinely amazing. This video is not sponsored. It's amazing to see such, like a massive brand like that, like a huge household name kind of doing more eco products because you know I feel like if you seek this kind of product out you can get it but it's making it a, like that level of awareness to all of the general public that you know they're putting these on the shelf next to their normal shampoo they're putting reusable cotton pads next to their micellar water which is like number one best-selling product um which is awesome to see anyway um solid shampoo bar this is actually really good it lasts a really long time this is a new one my other one's in the shower um i say new i've put this box in so many like videos and instagrams now it looks like it's about to die like genuinely um just re genuinely really good works like a normal shampoo no plastic smells really nice does the job i've been using that yeah the box has just failed me um i've been using that with um this conditioner which is my purology hydrate conditioner i've spoken about this a gazillion times before the shampoo and conditioner from the hydrate range are amazing um and have been like my kind of go-to for years and years and years but using this with the shampoo bar has been amazing this also came back as a kind of realization of how good it is when mike started using this and he's like mike has used aussie three minute miracle as a, his conditioner since i've known him along with um john frieda frizzy's shampoo for curly hair and he will not go to anything else like the amount of things i get sent to try and he ha he's like so stubborn um and he finally finally caved and tried this this year and he was literally like this stuff is amazing this is my new aussie three minute miracle i'm never using anything else again i was like yeah and this is so much better for your scalp and your hair um so yes so good it's like minty your my scalp i have a really sensitive itchy scalp and it doesn't like a lot of products it's literally like ah when i use this it's cooling it just feels incredible so so nice absolutely love that and two products from living proof which is another brand that i just absolutely love um their frizz vanishing oil my new favorite hair oil i use this a lot on river as well um because she has really frizzy curly hair um really good really brilliant just for smoothing put it in when it's wet put it in when it's dry smoothing those ends so good um and their dry shampoo i can't remember if this was in last year's video but basically this is my best friend this is the best dry shampoo i've ever used it actually cleans your hair it doesn't like just leave a like gross chalky residue in your roots it actually cleans it doesn't irritate my scalp it doesn't build up i've always 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 used dry shampoos as texturizing sprays because of my sensitive scalp my skin and scalp just doesn't like them this one i can use as an actual dry shampoo and it's also a really good texturizing spray as well so it's amazing love that um and then i also forgot to include this in the skincare but i guess it's kind of like a an accessory the face halo i finally caved and bought some of these this year and they're just they're just so good total combo i have about 10 million in my um drawer in my bathroom and they're all i use just like, straight off unless i'm using my cellar water then i'll use a reusable compact but these are super good as well they just genuinely like take everything off with no product so good and then you can just cleanse whatever um and last but not least a silk face mask from slip these are expensive but this face mask is about 50 times better than like every single other face mask that i've used 
It is so comfortable to wear. It's really soft. It's obviously it's silk. It's really soft, really smooth, but it's also really thick. You feel like you've got decent kind of level of coverage on your face. Some of the silk ones are really thin and you kind of just feel like stuff's getting in and out. You know what I mean? This feels like, you know, there's a barrier. Um, and it's also super breathable, really easy to kind of wear and breathe in and not feel kind of like stifled. Some of them, I've got like a neoprene-ish one and it just, ugh, I just feel like sweaty all the time and just not good. This is just so nice and it's nice on my skin as well. Silk is really, really good against your skin in terms of um, getting mask knee. It's probably your best option. I mean, it's still not great because you're like covering up your face, but um, so good and they also come with removable nose shapers so all of the ones that i've found with the nose metal nose bits they're brilliant for making them fit right but if you can't take them out when you wash them this one to be fair i hand wash anyway but even hand washing it when you wash them um you can find it like picks away at the seam and then you know you might get a ball patch or a hole where the metal is that's happened with a couple of my other ones this one you can take it out there's like a little tiny hole here and you can take the nose strip out. Um, they also give you a load of spare nose strips in case you lose that one, um, or where they just kind of get a bit, like it's basically in it for the long haul face mask. It's so good, I love it. Um, you can get them on Cult Beauty. They also fit really, really well. I put these in my gift guide as well. I've got lip gloss on, it's not good. Um, they fit really well because you can shape them around your nose like that, and then it's like tight to there, it's tight there, and then it goes right under your chin. It's just, really comfortable, fits well, nice to wear, looks nice. This is the pink leopard or rose gold leopard, but they also have like black, they have pale pink, um, they have rose gold, I think that's probably, I think they have four colors. They're so nice, I mean, yes, yes. It's a yes from me. Also, last but not least, and I nearly completely forgot them because there's a mass of products on my desk here, perfumes two perfumes that i love this year or loved this year the first one is more of the summer this was my favorite in the summer um is atelier cologne pomelo paradis as the name would suggest if you speak french grapefruit sweet sweet grapefruit that's what i love about um atelier cologne fragrances they are very they're not necessarily one note but they are very singular in what they smell like and i love that so there's a grapefruit one, there's the orange sanguine, which is super orangey. And I, like, I really love that. Like a lot of grapefruit scents are like very kind of, to me, they smell a bit like toilet cleanery because there's that citrusy kind of vibe going on. Telia Cologne is just, oh, the dream. Anyway, love that. And then the YSL Libra Intense. This is more of a wintry fragrance, more of an evening fragrance. Would say going out, like I said before, but we're not going out anywhere, you know, just mooching around the house in the evening. It's, a, it's like a deeper, like muskier scent. Love this, so nice. Also love the bottle, it's actually beautiful. So yeah, they're my two fragrances this year. And body wise, also on top of that mask, um, I also have discovered Wild deodorant this year, which is fantastic. This is refillable deodorant that comes in an aluminium case. As you can see, this one is snazzily engraved with my name on it um these are so brilliant you can actually it's a subscription service so you can get refills delivered to your door um they are aluminium free basically like any they're 100 natural and most natural deodorants let's face it they don't work i've spoken about this quite a lot of times but um really really good concept really good service um and the product actually works as well and they're similar along a similar vein is the estrid razors they've done sponsored stuff with so many people um over this year that i was a bit like is the same with wild like it's one of those companies i, th I feel like as a consumer being you guys to be like is that actually worth it or are they you know just working with every single person out there to to put it on my radar actually this video is not sponsored i have worked with wild i haven't worked with estrid um it's it's so good and such a good alternative to using like high street one the actual quality of this handle you're going to have it for years and years and years it's so nicely weighted the razors are amazing and they actually last a really really long time um way longer than um my gillette what are they called venus way longer than my venus ones used to last and yeah i mean they have the same kind of concept the head um goes in a zibin and this i'm trying not to now cut my hand trying to put it back on because usually you have the usually you have the packaging don't you what an idiot what am i doing with my life there we go um 
so good. And again, a subscription service, they get sent to your door, they're way more eco-friendly, their packaging is plastic free, recyclable packaging, vegan formula in the actual razor stuff itself, really, really good. Um, so yeah, definitely worth it if you're thinking about that as well. So that is it, best in beauty 2020. These are my top picks from this year. Hope you guys enjoyed it um, and happy new year to you all. Um, fingers crossed 2021 is better than 2020. I mean, it doesn't have a lot to live up to, does it? Um, so I, I, it's not a hard job. Let's do it, we can do it. Here, here we come, new year. <laughs> to turn over a new leaf, everybody. Um, anyway, sending you all lots of love and I'll see you soon. Bye.